Hi everybody, this is Alvin with Living Life's Journey and welcome to my channel. I hey know guys, what you did last summer. What's that sound? I know what you were doing. Wh who are you? I watched it all on your YouTube. Um, excuse me? I'm gonna get you. What's going on? You won't even expect it coming. <laughs> He's home. Hey. Okay. Hi. I'm back. <laughs> I almost could have done like the poltergeist thing. <laughs> They're back. Oh, hey. So, hi, everybody. As you can see, my husband is finally home, and I'll link it. If you didn't catch it, the homecoming video that I'll post up in the cards up here. So yes, he finally made it home. Six and a half months in the making. <gasps> no more side by side crazy chopped up video. Yes. I get to finally have you in person. No more Skypey Skype. So as we uh, attempt to try to figure out um, other videos to create at this time, we're gonna go into kind of like where we ha are journey originated into trying to get into an RV so that's what we're kind of trying to do right now so, so where are we at now so mm. where are we at now well so if you guys watched uh, in previous weeks we had the uh, whole RV financing thing we're still working that out um, so but as things have progressed so we've decided a couple different changes so um, in looking at a few different things people that we follow uh, that talk about um, I can't remember their name oh KYD KYD <laughs> sorry so KYD <laughs> they put out a video that said hey why wait? Just go for what you can go for and roll with it. And as we're trying to get into a brand new rig and get everything we wanted and get everything set up, it was becoming more and more of these surprise things that we didn't know about. And we, we documented some of the things along the way, like kept being so many problems. And one of the things we've always learned is that whenever there's lots of problems, it usually means God is saying, you yeah, no. might want to watch this. Mm -hmm. So, and what, as soon as we got that feeling about like, well, hey, maybe this isn't the right way. We should look and see what else can we do that's not going to be such an uphill fight. All of a sudden, a new rig came online. So we, ch we decided that, um, like in the previous video, we talked about RV financing and we found out there was a lot of issues in regards to RV financing that we had not previous understanding, like we had talked about, and we we're going to put in the uh, description bar below regarding uh, the trust and financing, that whole legal smeagle thing that we, we found. Uh, we decided to, well, maybe we were putting too much into this whole thing about having this brand new rig that we wanted. Was it in... Was it really necessary to have this brand new rig built for us? So we started talking and looking and talking mm -hmm. with our dealer, and we, Tim has been very wonderful with yep. us. So we'll link down below Tim, Tim. Strasser, little mm -hmm. dealer, little mm -hmm. prices out in Arizona. Great yeah. help has been doing so. He's actually doing stuff for us today as well about this. So, <laughs> so anyways, we, we <laughs> moved into say we're going to get a used rig and we found a used rig it's going well, to be awesome our our dealer has been working with us hand in hand not only wonderful guy talking with henry overseas what is it we looked at what did we actually need what did we want what we could accommodate the differences when we started looking at the financial thing some of the questions popped up as because of when we found a company that would do and without hiding anything full disclosure full-time living we're going to be in it longer than six months which we found out was some of the parameter. Well, the whole thing with the, the legal parameters, like we talked about some of the questions we left open. So if you have a residence somewhere else, but you're not living in it for more than 51% of the year, it is not your primary residence. If you're living in a residence for longer than, I think they said 90 days or something like that, they require special things on your insurance. We didn't know about this, but we found out about a whole lot of it. So me having my, uh, being military, having a home of record in Montana, doesn't count. Timeshare doesn't, doesn't count. count. Right. But there was good. a caveat that a lot of insurance companies, a lot of financing companies says, if you're going to be in your rig longer than six months, then that's considered residency, not recreational. And that's where a lot of things we popped up into because we were not going to have a secondary residence. Yes. 
So like, either way, we're not going to do that. Like we're going to move into this thing with all our crap and anything that we're not taking with us is going to either go to storage or we're going to sell it or donate it or whatever. So if you've seen stuff in our videos that you like that we may be getting rid of, <laughs> drop out. us a comment. We might be willing to sell it to you and or possibly give it to you as long as you pay shipping. So over, overall, long story short, is we found a company that was willing to finance to us. Yes. And over the discussions with the finance company and with our RV dealer, we decided that we were going to change our concept of, regarding the RV. We're still going to get the uh, style type, but we were going to bring down um, some of the wants, uh, but keep the needs. And Surprisingly, though, with all the wants we wanted, this thing, the one that we're looking at, we, and so our, our dealer, Tim, has helped us out a whole lot. We've actually already put down a promissory payment where we're like, hey, this is, we, put down we want it on for it. us so nobody else is going to be able to get it while we're trying to work our financing thing. Mm -hmm. um, surprisingly, though, being an older model, it came pre-wired from the factory for all of the wants that we want that for some of the, some of the ones we were looking at just last year's models for brand new ones didn't yeah. have at all. But go back several more years, and they had it wired for everything. It didn't come with it standard. You had to buy it aftermarket. But surprisingly, it's coming with stuff. So it's and cool. it's it has a unique concept for us, so we can make additional changes after the fact, and the dealer is willing us to work with us on it. So that gives us a lot of room to make the changes that we want after we purchase it. So no. we're happy with it. Not to mention the payment's going to be half yeah. of what we were going to pay. So, so it's good. And we that's were, always good. And that's what that was another thing is we wanted to go into to to go out and do the traveling we wanted to do to go do the, a lot of the adventures we wanted to do mm -hmm. without breaking the bank. Make the adventures now, and we didn't want to have to wait another year to make these concepts available to us just because we wanted to get a brand new rig. Oh, but in the end, we're going to say with this whole thing we're going to do, um, we backtracked, and because of this. Uh, we didn't have to put down twenty thousand dollars a deposit on uh, a down payment or what do you want to call it uh, to get this rig. Nope. Um, while we're working on the financing with the financing company, um, they lost our application. <laughs> so well, and, you know, but it's it's a good thing that she's bringing that up though because as we talk about things, online security, um, something that we kind of lose touch of a lot, especially in the YouTube world, because there's like, hey, let's share everything. Well, you got to be guarding of some, some things. things. Uh, you don't want everybody to see all of everything that's out there. Um, also, if you're looking at financing stuff, you know, my credit's really, really good. It's not, holy crap, you know, like I'm not in the, you know, 850, 900 range, but I've got fairly decent credit, so I want to protect it, it. And it took us years to so, finally get there after our, our divorces. It, it did. Um, yeah. We've actually got a Roth IRA now. It's kind of cool. Like, we're we're adults now. Woohoo! We uh, have a retirement plan. Which any of you guys who are out there pray would definitely say, pray for the market right now, because, like... <laughs> it's eating at it. <laughs> it makes you go, hmm. But uh, as we go through all this stuff, so what had happened was we put in our application. was weird. The system kind of had a little quirk at the end of it and it went right back to the start page as if we had to resubmit a new application. We're like, don't want to do it because if, mm -hmm. and if you apply for more than one mortgage, that dings your credit pretty good. Big time. So they so, told us to hold while they tried to hunt down the application mm -hmm. to make sure everything was good. But somehow they warned us that they were doing a system upgrade. Yep and it got lost in their system so they wanted to double check to see if they found it they saw our they saw our information but they couldn't retrieve it to get the information they needed to process yes. Corona, no 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 <laughs> no 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 you ain't going nowhere you ain't going nowhere so um yeah with the like say uh, most of you guys already know the state of california said hey everybody shelter in place so and that's we, pretty we'll much tell you guys everyone. we need to do this right uh, the whole thing is I don't know why this is happening. I don't know what the level this is going to go. I don't know when it's going to be over. We pray every day that it's going to go away. But until then, we're just going to keep moving. The cool thing is, like I say, our dealers work with us, the finance people. Everybody's still working with us to do what we got to do. But, you know, take the precautions you need to. And that's what we're doing. And that's why we're here inside the house. Otherwise, I mean, what we really wanted to do is we want to take Jump you guys out. Go for yeah. Go for a motorcycle ride. Go show you guys some stuff. Take you guys out in the desert and show you some places where we like to hang out. Maybe to go to some of the restaurants we like. But hey, as time goes on, we'll roll. You never know. Maybe uh, maybe later on, I know I can still, there's some trails on base with the mountain bike. Maybe I'll go hit some mountain bike trails and show you guys what those look like where I go to do some crazy goofy riding. Take um, the dogs for a walk and uh, just cruise around the park. But even then, they're telling people not to go to the park because they can't sanitize the areas. They so. actually put caution tape, tape around, around all of the playgrounds on base. So California has stopped all the schools. All this stuff stopped, and it's just crazy stuff. But I guess one thing I would I would add to this though is during this time, if you feel like you're alone or something, reach out. Even if it's putting it in the comments, trust me, I've got no problem saying, "Hey, let's talk with people. Let's try to do what we can do to help out." 
So uh, if you are going through some troubled times and you need to talk, please leave it in the, uh, even send us a message and we'll gladly reach out to one another and pray over you or, or just talk to you and give you some help um, any which way yeah. we can. Yeah, please do. Uh, you know, I mean, these times are going to get a little bit, probably even more, a little bit trying as this works its way out over the next week or two. But I would just ask that like, we recently in our unit had uh, someone who took their own life because mm -hmm. they couldn't deal with a lot of things. And I just, it's, it sucks. This is not the first time I've had to deal with this. It hurts. Um, and it really sucks because you ask yourself continually, what could I have done to help? So I'm here to tell you guys, we're here to help if we can. Don't want anybody to think that their life is not valuable. Mm -hmm. Every life has worth. God loves everybody. We love everybody. Mm -hmm. We'll roll on. Just right. know that if you need help, there's people out there can help. We'll even put some links down in below for like Red Cross and a few other people that way, if you guys need help, there's places you can reach out to. And know that you're never alone. Yep. You are valued, you are loved, and you were created for a purpose. So yes. just to let that out there. But we're going to let you guys go. This is gonna, I hope you guys uh, stick around for the journey that's coming up as we continue to march forward. Um, again, this channel is about life, love, and creating a journey and making memories and sharing it with you guys. So you guys Smash that little like and, and subscribe And subscribe thing. to this channel. Hit the bell for the notifications for the next videos that pop up so you guys receive that information. Mm -hmm. And as we try to figure out how to do any more of the things that we can do. Yeah, we'll think of some other stuff. Other than that, you know, as you know, next week, Mm. Stay tuned because in the very beginning we play all kinds of crazy stuff about this guy acting crazy and stupid, but it's fun. Oh, yeah. I was a class clown. So, peace. Love. Love. <laughs> Purple Purple bunnies. Bunnies. I don't know when he started that a long time ago. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Bye, we'll everybody. see you. Have fun. Live your life. Coffee.